you ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and thank you for joining me, Maisie Dobson, here at Chester Zoo's Aquatic Centre, where, and I can't quite believe that I'm actually announcing this, that for the first time ever, the female giraffe 10 metre platform high dive 2020 British Championships is about to take place. And what an incredible atmosphere it is here. This is quite an unexpected and extraordinary event being held today, but I'm sure you'll all join me with great intrigue and enthusiasm. The lineup for today are three monumental creatures, who I believe are at the moment tensely limbering their supple torsos and limbs in the hope of showcasing some spectacular descents and aiming for that 2020 British gold medal. We are just making sure that the aerialist giraffe is eased securely into position, ready to assist our first diver. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that the apparatus is solid enough to withstand the weight of these towering mammals. Right then, I think we're now ready to observe the first diver of the day, Geraldine, who is actually the youngest competitor of the competition. Though you won't think it by looking at the sheer elegance she's portraying as she approaches the board. Incredibly, she didn't appear to be showing any sign of nerves whatsoever. Here goes then. Geraldine is now making a short, powerful run to the foot of the diving board and looks to have made a perfect chin interlock with the harness giraffe and seems to have been catapulted magnificently high into the air leading to a wonderful reverse dive with a rotating double spin. Wow, what a graceful entry into the water she's made. That was an incredibly exciting performance for both myself and the crowd, judging by the passionate cheers the audience are portraying. More importantly, let's see what the judges thought about it. Two sevens and an eight, totally totalling a wonderful score of 22. What a tremendous start to the competition. Okay then, next up we have an extremely lean, long-necked female named Georgia, who looks to be nervously making her way to the platform. Those ears of hers are twitching a frantic dance. Can she beat the extraordinary score of 22 that Geraldine has set? The audience appear to be eagerly waiting in anticipation. I think we're about to find out. A hesitant start to the run-up, but she's now beginning to gradually pick up pace, looking as light as a feather on her feet, and has controlled connection with the aerialist giraffe. What an outstanding leg extension into a perfect pipe position, with beautifully extended front legs. She looks as elegant as a swan as she submerges into the water, an all-round fantastic dive. The crowd are going wild. They must have really enjoyed that performance. Let's see if the judges liked it as much as the spectators. And by the looks of it, they do. Two eights and a seven, equaling an astonishing 23 points. Everyone's on their edge of their seats now waiting for the third and final diver to take to the board. I can see there's some great support being spread around the aquatic centre this afternoon. Plenty of banners are forming a sea of brightly coloured waves and the chanting cheers that are filling the room are just wonderful. Well, here she is, last but not least, Gladys, emerging from behind the scenes, looking as cool as a cucumber. What can she pull out the bag to try and outshine the previous opponents? I don't think she'll have a problem guessing by the air of confidence and control she's currently showing. That's an amazing forceful thrust into the air. I'd say she's off to a good start. Look at those super straight straddled hind legs secured by her front limbs. And wow, what a wonderful head took into a backward triple rotating somersault. Finished perfectly streamlined into the water too. What an outstanding final dive we have just witnessed. Listen to that ear-splitting roar from the crowd. We'll now go across to the judges for the results. However, 
However, it does look as though they're deliberating on the marks. There may be some difference of opinions. I'm just wondering whether they're questioning her takeoff from the board. I don't know whether her hoof was too far over that platform. OK, so there might be a slight delay in announcing the results, as the judges will probably be looking at the video replay to check the angles. So, while we're waiting, I think it's fair to say that it's been a truly spectacular competition today, with great support from the audience. It's just fantastic to see. Right then, I think the judges have come to an agreement. Oh my, a tremendous three nines. What a cracking set of scores. A total of 27 points. We have a clear winner. Very well deserved, I'd say. It would have been very harsh to disqualify her over that hoof. Unfortunately, that concludes the end a truly wonderful afternoon here in Chester. It certainly left us wanting to see more from these incredible animals. And you'd be in luck because you'll be able to join me again live here at 3pm on the 14th of June on Sunday when the male giraffes will be performing their 10 metre high dive. For myself and everyone else here at the Aquatic Centre, thank you for joining us and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Goodbye.